We're on a Monday after the Cup Series event, and we got a big bit of news from the guys over at the Teardown and the Athletic, Jeff Gluck and Jordan Bianchi, regarding next year's schedule. It's really going to be affecting the playoffs. Let's talk about those comments about next year's playoff schedule. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think about the schedule changes? Do you like them? Do you dislike them? And give me your reasoning why. Plus, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. All right, so what we started with, we had a good bit of news coming from the teardown. If you haven't heard about the teardown, it is one of the shows on Dirty Mo Media, hosted by Jeff Gluck and Jordan Bianchi, NASCAR writers for The Athletic. And they, they usually have better insider information than most. They had to drop a little news bomb during their post-race talk about New Hampshire Motor Speedway. And they were talking about next year's schedule in the Cup Series, mainly affecting the playoffs. Let's, let's take a listen to what they had to say. The Athletic has learned that three tracks are coming out of the playoffs, are tentatively planned to come out of the, the uh, playoff schedule next year. We know uh, about Atlanta. That's already been announced, moving from starting the playoffs to mid, uh, mid-summer. Um, two other tracks that the Athletic has learned will be moving out of the uh, playoffs. Don't hurt me. Watkins, Watkins Glen. Okay, I can see that. And Homestead. I mean, no Darlington is going to move back in the playoffs because Daytona is going to host the regular season finale. D- D- uh, Darlington will back then. how it was. Exactly, which is great. We love that move, yep. support that. We yep. Now, so then Loudon is going to be the other one. So we've got one more track left, Gateway. So very interesting information. We knew that there was going to probably be some big changes to the 2025 Cup Series schedule. But if you looked at my predictions for the Cup Series schedule, I didn't expect really any changes to the playoffs except for Darlington going back to the date on the schedule it's supposed to be. And, of course, we all kind of knew that Watkins Glen was a placeholder for the playoffs, that it was probably going to move back to a similar date that it's usually been held. These are pretty crazy. This is pretty crazy on these decisions that have potentially been made by NASCAR to remove three tracks from the playoffs and adding three tracks back in. Let's take a look at the tracks that are expected to be removed from the playoffs. Two of these were expected. You had Atlanta. Atlanta, we knew it was going to take over the in-season tournament opener. So we knew that wasn't going to stick around. And like I said, I think most people that are in depth with what's going on kind of knew that Watkins Glen was going to get taken out of the playoffs for next year. But my big surprise right here is that third track being taken out of the playoffs. I consider it to be a fan favorite. It produces fantastic racing no matter which type of car they are in. And that is Homestead Miami Speedway. Homestead Miami Speedway, like I said, is a fan favorite. You can kind of drive all over the racetrack a lot of people including myself have been saying homestead should probably get the championship race back and instead of getting the championship race back next year it sounds like the race could potentially move to march which kind of makes sense because of there not being that west coast swing like there's been in years past there's only two tracks on the west coast now and there's only so many tracks that you could race at in february and march and even early april and homestead is one of those racetracks so i guess when you're looking at it from a weather temperature standpoint it makes sense 
to everything else, it doesn't make sense. From what I heard, being at, from people being at the racetrack last year at Homestead, Miami, that the last couple years for Homestead, Miami, ever since they lost the championship date, the track just has not felt the same. The atmosphere with the fans has not felt the same. But I heard last year having that round of eight race really helped with that, really helped with the fans at the track and I heard it was a pretty cool experience for most people and then have it moved back to March where I think it was in I think it was held in March for maybe two or three years it just seemed to not be quite as popular with the fans at the track I I think it always puts on a good television product but I think the most important thing when it comes to a lot of these races is getting fans in the seats having fans camp out at the racetrack, have fans at the merchandise haulers meeting their favorite drivers. I think that should be one of the biggest concerns when it comes to these schedule decisions. Overall, I think NASCAR probably made a pretty big mistake here taking Homestead Miami Speedway out of the playoffs. Allegedly, this is not official. I would say these guys over at The Athletic, Jeff Gluck and Jordan Bianchi, usually are pretty spot on. They don't usually report every single rumor they're hearing. They only usually report the rumors that have a lot of validity to them. So I'm going to take it with a little grain of salt. But overall, I would expect these changes to happen since the teardown is bringing it up. Let's move on to the tracks that are moving into the playoffs, starting with Darlington. Darlington, like I said, it's expected for them to move back into the playoffs because it would keep that Labor Day weekend date. And the only reason it's not in the playoffs this season was because of the way the Olympic break works. And it kind of messes up our schedule a little bit this season where Darlington falls outside those final 10 races and is now the cutoff race. Well, while next year, it will go back to being the cutoff race, I would assume, for the NASCAR playoffs. And the other two tracks joining the playoff schedule, I would honestly say, are a little bit questionable. I don't think either of these tracks produce the greatest racing at the moment with the package we have in place for the short track package, even though even though both of these tracks aren't considered short tracks, they, do, they definitely race like short tracks. And I'm talking about Gateway, where we just were a couple of weeks ago. And then where we just raced at, New Hampshire Motor Speedway, it sounds like these two races are going to join the playoffs. And I'm very mixed about this. First of all, from what I said before, the short track package and overall the racing with the next-gen car at these sort of flatter race tracks with tighter corners, either short tracks or short track-esque sort of tracks. It's, it just seems to be a real struggle point for our current generation of car. But at the same time, on the flip side of things, I think both of these tracks have had a fantastic fan at the track atmosphere from what I've seen. And I think something like this would only up it. We've seen what Worldwide Technology Raceway, a.k.a. Gateway, has done with their race for the Cup Series. They've had concerts. They've had all this different stuff going on during the weekend it's pretty much a big party it's a big event it's not just a race weekend it's an event weekend from what the for one from what they do over at worldwide technology raceway so adding gateway to the playoffs i think would only improve that fan atmosphere and then when it comes to new hampshire motor speedway it could potentially be a weather thing i'm not sure how the rainfall is over in that area does it rain more in the summer months over there does it is it a lot drier during october september i'm not exactly sure i do remember new hampshire motor speedway when the chase first got introduced which is now known as the nascar playoffs when it was the chase i think for the first five or six years new hampshire motor speedway actually hosted the first race of the playoffs it's actually hosted a championship event technically as well new hampshire motor speedway so it definitely has history 
when it comes to the end of the season. But you also have to keep in mind that would, in that era, that's when New Hampshire had two two dates. At this point, New Hampshire only has the one date on the schedule, and it hasn't produced the greatest racing throughout the season. But at the same time, this could also be something for the drivers because I think a lot of people would compare New Hampshire to Phoenix Raceway. I think they're two very different racetracks. But I would also say if there's any track that's the most similar to Phoenix Raceway, I would probably say New Hampshire Motor Speedway because of the way the turns are ran. I'm, I'm expecting we get a schedule release a little bit earlier this season. I think the only thing that's holding up a schedule release, because I think, I think the schedule is pretty set on NASCAR side. I think they're just waiting on maybe getting some international approval from some of these tracks they're trying to race at internationally, talking about Autodromo, Hermanos Rodriguez, and Circus Gilles Villeneuve. These two racetracks, I know NASCAR is really trying to get one of these two, if not both of them, on to the Cup Series schedule. And when they're able to figure out what they're going to do with those international venues, I think we'll get a schedule release, a big news release, a big press conference about the 2025 Cup Series schedule and maybe even the Xfinity and Truck Series schedule will release at the same time this year. Very interested to see what happens with that. But the playoffs are definitely going to be looking different. But give me all your thoughts down below. What do you think about this potential new playoff schedule we're looking at? Are you a fan of it? Are you not a fan of it? Let me know down below but that'll do it for me thanks for watching my name is kyle aka racing boy short saying peace